What's going on guys? I know it's been a while since I've uploaded anything. <laughs> Took a little hiatus I guess. Uh, but I'm back and we are checking out the Stanley Parable today. I know it's eh, kind of oldish but I thought it looked pretty funny so we're going to be checking it out. And I don't know if you guys see it but over here on the screen it's like infinite. Infinite screens. The mouse is moving around on it and everything. It's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I literally just downloaded this game like a few minutes ago and hopped right into it and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna record because it's been a while. Um, so I have not played this game at all. I've seen some videos on YouTube, but that's about it. Um, and, you know, it was on Steam for like two bucks. So I was like, heck yeah, I'll just pick it up right now. So, we're going to be checking out this game. Uh, this is the first time I'm seeing it, or well, playing it, I guess. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. Uh, never the end is never the end. Oh, okay, it's just going over and over until it hits loading, I guess. This is the story of a man named Stanley. So it said click to skip. Stanley worked for I think a if we skip it, he's gonna be like, hey, what the hell? No? Nope. Okay. I guess maybe I should have watched that. Eh. Oh well. Um can I can I do anything? Let's see. Nothing? Click. Click. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. <laughs> what if I don't want to go to the meeting room? What if I want to do my own thing? Because I'm Stanley. Oh, okay. Um, uh -huh. Ah! Click that one off. Save, save power. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office. Yes, I did. <laughs> it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Yeah, well, Stanley eh, clicked 420. on literally every single door in the office. Yes, I did. Because he didn't pick up well on cues from his environment. Yeah, well, you could shut it, Mr. Mr. Narrator Guy. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. On the left? Um, I'm gonna do the right. Right door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, no, and Stanley not. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Gonna click on every door, just to see if any of them open. So far, none. Ah, yes. Truly uh, so a uh, worth admiring. It would have been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Yep. Stanley simply stood That's here, it. drinking it all in. Nope. But eager to get back to business, Stanley nope. took the first open door on his left. Come on. No, I'm not listening to you. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's <laughs> incredible he wasn't five years ago. Yeah, so? Don't judge me. Oh, can I? Oh, I can't jump. I, w I was hoping I could get over that. What do we have here? Does Look, it... Stanley, oh, I hey. think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I don't know, I you, you have a pretty enemy-like voice. Difficult, but I wonder if I can make that. that the story <gasps> Bam! Bam! Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration <laughs> for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you know. something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Uh, Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Well, I want to go through Stanley this door. Walked through the red door. I don't want to listen to you, mister. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Oh. Stanley walked through the red Never. door. Never. <laughs> I still don't think we're communicating <laughs> properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Nope. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Okay. 
probably gonna be something scurry. Ooh, wow. There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms. If you could let me jump, textures. I would jump off Is the edge. What you Come on. Wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? It was. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because Probably I did. not. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help yeah. me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want <laughs> to see? Vehicles? Yes. Skill trees? Maybe. Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. Whoa. The third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go it ahead, does. Stanley. Take it, it for a spin. I kind of want to take it for a spin. All right, I'll listen to you this time. Okay, I'm going to oh. stop you there. Please now, rate your tell experience. me about your experience with this new version. Would you um. say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Oh, well, now this is useful. You didn't like it, but you didn't totally hate it either. You enjoyed it, perhaps is the correct term. <laughs> it didn't cause you excruciating pain. Big steps exactly. we've made here today, exactly. Stanley. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Okay. Whoa. Hey. Um. Worldwide leaderboard. What? Oh wow! Look at that. It actually has different people. I'm wondering if any of these people are real or if it's just randomly generated or something. Wow, there's a lot of them. Wow. Did you know that two point? Oh, I wasn't done reading that. How dare you? I'm sure you guys could read it. Hit the pause button, read that stuff. Stanley427 is online. Well, that's not my typical username, so I'm guessing that, yeah, it was, uh, it was randomly generated stuff. Uh, huh. <laughs> Only the worst 3% of players chose the blue door. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Wow. Um, I don't think I've been playing for seven hours. I think it's only been a few minutes. But, you know, whatever. Um, let's go back through door number three. Now, would you say Whoa. that competitive hey. leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Um, let's just do two again. Let's hey, see what I happens if I've we got a keep it two. The new game I've been working on. And now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. All right, let's you do wouldn't it. mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. All right. Oh, hey, it's actually loading something new. That's pretty cool. Um, In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. Okay. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. Is All it? about the desperation and tedium of endless Why is there a random the random demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, um, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't oh, you give okay. four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Yeah, Be sure. sure Sounds great. Your experience. <laughs> <laughs> you heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> it's over. Thank you for playing. Your nice. input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Um, uh, be like asteroids mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. All right. Let's see. It's going. Oh, hey, Minecraft. Well, what do you know? Is this any better? At Can last, I, jump? I can't even jump. Desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to um, do with. Um, I can't is it dig. Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? I don't I'll know. You gonna give me I'm some tools or something? 
From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Where? <laughs> where? 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 I heard it. This will go here. No, here. And then... Oh. That is a very horrible house. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, <laughs> yes, it's complete. <laughs> I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. I'm ah, sure I can beat it. You've seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please step inside and make yourself comfortable. I don't wanna. I wanna play Minecraft in the Stanley Parable. Come on. Let me jump or something. I don't want in. Can I close the door now? What, if I just stay out here for a while, will he just be like, come on now? Uh, um, uh, I, okay, fine, we'll go inside. Uh, Isn't it grand? No. Isn't it perfect? It is it not. It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Sounds come along, like Stanley. my nephew's version of Minecraft. <laughs> okay. Let's go this way. Um, the music isn't quite right, but oh my. it's it pretty close. Like get a big dark. <gasps> you brought a light. No. Hey, there's some coal right there. You can make some torches. Come on now. Mushrooms. Dirt. Oh no 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 no! This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. Some I'm looking iron. for something more narrow and linear, something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't oh. do at all. One out of yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Okay, oh, look at all those. <laughs> oh man. What do we got here? Um. <laughs> yes. Oh, portal. I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. I think it's you portal. Trapped in a glass box with no way out. Yeah. Listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. Where's I my portal gun? Any better myself? What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Well, I can at least pick stuff up. Not much. <laughs> Toilet. Toilet. Yes. Can I can I smash the window? Oh, hey, that window's been open the whole time, hasn't it? Let me take the radio with me. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Aha. Genius. <laughs> yep, genius. No, actually, you know what? I think that's pretty No. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. Going down. Wow. That's cool. Oh. Whoa. Alright. Can I pick anything else up in here? Ooh, we could jump off into the void. There's also more void we can jump off into. Uh, okay, into the void! Whee! Oh, I see something! Ah, whoa. Okay, are we in Half-Life now? Hello? Man, even the narrator guy isn't talking. That's crazy. I knew it. It's a secret horror game. What do we have here? That's, that's, uh... Elevator, I think. Out of order, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Anything in here? Nope. Anything in here? Nope. Um, okay. Nope. Oh boy. 
Did I break the game? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, I see light. Oh, hey. Let me go in there. Kind of sounds like I'm like typing on a computer every time I click. Four twenty-seven. What do we got in here? Anything? Can I do anything? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Why is this here? If I can't do anything. Did I break the game? Well, what just happened? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps huh. he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. <laughs> He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. Oh. That's who I am. Okay. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. Okay. The end will be here soon. Very soon. Ooh, that sounds I ominous. Um. Seriously? Is it just a black screen? Oh, okay, load screen. All right, we're back at the very beginning. All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Not this again. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hey, what's, what's on there? Someone played Minecraft in there. <laughs> username access that's a uh, interesting username I want to go this way and eh, 420 again when Stanley came to a set of two open doors he entered the door on his left um I kind of want to ignore him again, but at the same time, I want to see what's on the left. Hmm. Uh, 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 um, we're gonna go right again. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yep, that's it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Never. Stanley was so bad at following directions. Oh, I can't even go in the other door. Ago. I was hoping I could go straight on that door or whatever. Or maybe I could just follow this up to wherever it takes us. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I could sure alternatively I really jump are. down there, I suppose. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else hmm. can be difficult. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop oh, yeah. trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking no, for No, that was the wrong... But in his eagerness oh. to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley <laughs> leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Yep. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Oh yeah, you know it. <laughs> I was just trying to get over to that platform quicker. Wait, is things things darker in here? Oh, what when do you Stanley know? Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Ever. <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just yep. to admire uh -huh. it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he All wasn't right. five years this ago. This time we're just gonna wait. Look, Stanley, get I up there. We've gotten off on the and not here. 
you know, go that way or plummet to our death. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all uh -huh. this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. For her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside. Uh -huh. To let her back into your life. Who She's is her? been waiting. Oh, that's that's ominous. That is a black room of darkness. I'm going backwards. Oh. That's her, Stanley. Oh. You need to be the one to do this. Oh, oh. no, 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 you can't. <laughs> did you just unplug the phone? I did. That wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> no, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone mm. is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more <laughs> wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp yep. the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have Both. that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe okay. this helpful instructional video. I don't wanna. Choice. It's the best part of that. being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically <laughs> set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his yeah, house. That Which sounds choice about right. would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who what? does not make sense, <laughs> in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. A back sack and crack. Okay. Practice time. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part yep. to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay. Ah, welcome back. Um... You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Okay. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Oh, uh... I don't want to listen to you. What, do I actually have to go all the way back? <laughs> he actually like put <laughs> stuff up on here. Now that your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. 
Imagine the character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. Well, we've already done it. Get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. <laughs> okay. Scoop. Scoop. All right. Uh, let's see. I guess we're going back this way. Okay. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Will I? Will I be? Now remember, all you need I to do is behave way. exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Are right. you sure? <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, let's go back right. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Oh, hey. Okay. Hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. No. What is... Oh, whoa. That's some crazy stuff going on. And back right. No? Nothing? Okay. Uh, can I go this way? No? Alright, fine. We'll go left, finally. Nope. Nope. Come on. Uh, oh, that ruined. doesn't seem right. I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? Yes. For what? What did you get out of that? What did you it's think was funny. so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. <laughs> and what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I'm, I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Let's see. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Run. No. Okay. Um... Oh, whoa. I halfway expected it to, uh... I'm here. I'm still here. Okay. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. <laughs> now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had bit. to see... Yep. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Uh -oh. I am not a child, <sighs> sir. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. All right. Well, so I'm, I'm holding you I to that. So oh, okay. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, huh. I really want to see what happens if I go right again. But at the same time, I want to see if he was, you know, actually telling the truth that there's an underground facility we get to blow up and stuff. Uh, mm, uh, let's go left. All right. All right, we're we're going left. You better be correct about the underground there facility. Was no person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Tips for Stanley not getting fired. To go up to his Talk office, less. <laughs> hoping he might find an answer there. Oh man. 
how to solve a dispute with a coworker. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty funny. Using slides to ensure employees that employees that everything is okay. Okay. My brain did not process that words the words correctly. Broom closet? I wanna go in the broom closet. No? Huh? Coming to a staircase, Stanley uh, walked upstairs to his boss's office. Well, I can't even walk downstairs. What kind of staircase is this if you can't walk down to get into those doors? Nope. Well, why would the boss have an office so different? Can I pick up the pillow? No. Even Gladys is gone. We go this way? No. Okay. I guess we're going all the way up to the boss office. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely That's behind a messed this up door picture. All the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. No, Night did I? One one five. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He okay. drew a sharp oh, breath get out of here! And then spoke the code. Dang it! That uh, that sucks. Well, I guess Wiggy Moss is online. Woo! Um, okay, click. Click, 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 click. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Do I actually have to speak it? Night Shark 115? No? I'm sorry, is there a problem? There is a problem. You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. I'm... I... How? I don't... I don't understand. Do I have to type okay, it? Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? Shark. It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far. Only for you one, to one, suddenly five. decide you no. have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, I then why couldn't. did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain <laughs> yourself, you coward. <laughs> uh, oh. What? Damn it. Wiggy Moss, get out of here. Um, what the? Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I, I need you to make a choice. The end. I need to walk through the door. Are you listening <laughs> to me? Okay, you well. Is okay? That was an interesting an ending. Uh, from what I understand, this game actually has a lot of different endings. Do you understand me? Um, that is. He's dead. Do something. This is more important than you can ever know. I need I can't. I can't do anything. I'm stuck. Are you there? Are you listening to this? No. No. <laughs> okay. Can you stop talking so I can do my outro? Come on. Is that it? Huh? Are we done here? Are, we, are you gonna put me back on the main page? I think so. Oh, we're loading. Loading. No. No. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, we're gonna end it here because yeah
been playing for a while. We saw an ending. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, that was the Stanley Parable. Par parable. Par par whatever. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. It's a very interesting game. And like I said, there are many different endings, I believe. Uh, I don't know how to get to them, but we might figure them out in future playthroughs. Uh, just let me know down in the comments, you know, what do you want to see? You want to see more of this? You want to see something else? Uh, I would definitely like to, uh, see more endings to this game. I'm not sure how we're gonna get them, but, you know, we'll try. And, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a like. And, uh, you know, if you want to see more content from me, uh, hit that subscribe button, it'll let you know and all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna let me know what you wanna see, you know, game-wise, or, uh, you know, certain aspects of a game, let me know down in the comments below, or you can, uh, hit me up at, uh, what is that thing, Twitter, or Facebook, one of those. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, it was a pleasure doing this video for you, and I will catch you fellers on the next one. Peace out.